join the channel, become a member here, or check out the uh, subscribe star Rumble Odyssey and Bitchy Rumble is very nice right now. I had I was uh, I was sleeping on how cool Rumble is. It, it's it's like YouTube, but from a few years ago before YouTube just got. Oh man, if you're only on YouTube, you're not on Rumble Odyssey and Bitchy and those kind of channels. You think YouTube is normal, and you get on those other channels like, whoa, I didn't know people could speak like this. I, whoa, free thinkers, this is wild. And free speech, it's weird to have a comment section where words are not filtered. You can type anything you want in those comment sections. It's, it's kind of fun. So um, Funko, Funko, Funko dolls. So what happened was a plastic toy came out of a mold with the wrong pigmentation. It's not all used in the thumbnail. It's not a big deal. At least it shouldn't be a big deal. The issue is that a bunch of cat ladies and soy boys are pseudo outraged over nothing. It was just a product manufacturing glitch where they were probably supposed to color match the characters and have them look like, you know, cart the cartoon, the animation characters as they were represented. But they're probably molded at different times and the pigments varied in the plastic. I don't know. How or they spray it on later. Who knows? It's, it's not an issue. It shouldn't be an issue. But the left wing Twitter kids lost their minds or at least pretended to lose their minds the virtue signal on twitter and get some of that you know for them they make some kind of outrage tiktok and they put it on twitter and it gets thirty thousand likes it's just a it's just a high i mean it's, it's like on youtube if you have a, a day where you get like a bunch of subs or something there's a like there is a little dopamine that comes along with every sub it's like to, to ignore that is to be dishonest it is a little bit of a like that's the smoker's buzz um but for, for them to get like, you know, to do a TikTok that gets 30,000 likes is, uh, you know, it's got to be, a, a, you know, that's why they do it. That's why they, that's why they virtue signal is because they, they're really into that kind of social affirmation. Um, but they um, so they're they're outraged over this uh, this pigmentation mistake and um, or, you know, pretend to be. And they make sure to let you know how much they hate any characters that are too fair, i.e. that don't have enough pigmentation in this cheap plastic Chinese piece of garbage. Because they hate you, or, you know, it's like a cheap Chinese plastic piece of garbage made after some Disney propaganda. You know, it's 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 a commercial for merchandising, right? I mean, that's like, oh, Baby Yoda is so cute. And then you stop yourself and you look at it and you're like, holy shit, I fell for the propaganda. <laughs> it's, it's Disney Star Wars and they're selling some... You know, they're selling some made-in-China piece of garbage. And you think, oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. And then you just want to slap yourself. Because it's so, it's so disgusting to have to fall for that kind of stuff. You know, really, these people are endlessly upset over just the, the stupidest stuff. Now that I, I pay attention to some of the points of this article about... You know, different things at Disney. I look at I look at all this and I go, Oh, Disney. Yeah, Disney. Some company in Florida, California, they're they doing some they're doing some kind of stuff. They're doing things. Why would you go to Disney? Why would like why would you care about Disney in any way, shape, or form? It it's just kinda you step back and you and you look at it and you go, Oh, it's all like it's it's all crap. And and every once in a while, even people on the right will kind of fall for that. I will say that people on the right have fallen out of love. They're rapidly falling out of love with Hollywood and with, with Disney in specific. And and then the thing is, you look at all of it and you, and you step back and you look at all of Hollywood. Like all these different Warner Brothers, Amazon, Netflix, Cartoon Network, um, you know, stuff that you and your kids are into. And you realize, oh, it's all like this is the future of all of it. It's all going to be, you know, roughly you can call it uh, you can call it woke. Um, but my point of this otherwise pointless video is that the left makes themselves heard. They are way more active than the right wing, even if it's mostly slacktivism on social media. They do get on Twitter and they make thousands of tweets about how marginalized and oppressed these plastic Chinese dolls are that are, you know, that are made on just the worst corporate whore Disney property. It doesn't matter what useless crap they whine about, and it seems stupid to us, and it is. They won't, um, they do make a fuss about every little thing, and, and the right won't even do that. And, you know, the right looks at it and like, oh, we don't even want to bother. Why are these people so juvenile? Well, because the squeaky wheel gets the grease, and activists understand that, which is why activism on the left is 10,000 times more powerful than, than activism on the right. So the window keeps shifting to the left simply because the right won't get online and help change the narrative. And before you call me a hypocritical, uh, no, I won't point to YouTube videos as as uh, mattering. But I do make other videos on BitChute and, and Odyssey and Rumble that don't go on YouTube that are my little bit of trying to trying to move that window. You ever notice how they have normalized something like referring to America as our democracy, politicians and the uh, globalist media call use that that word, and there's been no pushback over that. 
you have politicians refer to the republic, constitutional representative republic, <clears throat> as a democracy, and it's not even an issue for the right, the right wing. They just concede the ground and they bend over and they just, it's like there, there's no right wing, there's no conservative movement because conservative, the, um, what was it like, uh, con uh, like Obama and Hillary from, you know, 10 years ago or Biden from 20 or 30 years ago is more conservative than any conservative now. And you try, you try to like look at them through decades and decades ago. What, what exactly have the conservatives conserved over the years? Oh, well, uh, hey, Charlie Kirk, how exactly is back hole 11 a conservative value? And he didn't have an answer to that. Or they asked Matt, Matt Walsh a question. And he didn't have an answer to his, his, his question either. Anyway, it's um, it's all related. I mean, it's like it's, it's part of a culture war. Anyway, so what uh, what uh, has Disney and Hollywood in general been doing for the past few years? Well, as I've been saying, Infinitum is they're replacing all blue-eyed and green-eyed European characters with non-European characters. I mean, it's like every two weeks there's a video on that kind of thing. Usually Africans for some wacky reason. And the audience doesn't barely raise a fuss. There are dozens of European characters that have been erased, or they'll take European stories like Lord of the Rings, written by an Englishman, and create an abomination like Rings of Power. Anyway, they swap out the fair, beautiful people of the light, and there's no fuss. But they make one plastic toy, and it's accidentally, there it is. Ac oh, stay still, dog. I'm using the dog as a brace for the phone. And it's accidentally made more fair, and they lose their mind on social media, and nobody points out the hypocrisy of this hatred, especially in light of the years of race swap characters. What was the last big one? The Little Mermaid, I think. It's a Danish story by Hans Christian Andersen, maybe. I don't know. It was written like 150 years ago based on a, a you know red-haired mermaid that clearly in his mind was based on you know northern european characters as are all these characters uh, lord of the rings is based on his village life uh when he went off to world war one I, I think right that the, the dates on that are right um like clearly that's a influence by his life and oh no we're gonna make rings of power or we're gonna do a retelling of uh willow or just, you know, all the other crap that comes. Oh, we're going to redo Velma. Okay, Mindy Callie. She's kind of an interesting character because um, uh, she she sexualizes blonde men or blue-eyed men. And then, like, you get this weird vibe when you watch Velma. And then you, you look up uh, Mindy Callie's husband and you look, at, you look at his brilliant blue eyes. And you're like, oh, wait, that's your husband? You you didn't marry like an Indian guy? You married a, this, this blue-eyed guy who looks like he should be an English knight from, you know, 500 years ago? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just coincidence. Okay. It, are you fetishizing blonde? Uh, not blonde. I don't know if he's, I don't think he's blonde hair, but he, he does have, like, clearly blue eyes. It's like, are you fetishizing these blue-eyed people? And then you see the, this Velma. It's like, I, I mean, this is kind of like, like kind of right out on the face of it. I mean, this is like, you're putting, I feel like she's putting her time with her, her weekly therapist time, and it just went into a cartoon, and, and like, nobody is mentioning that, like, Maybe you should keep your sexual fantasies out of an animation. It's it's kind of weird. Like, you look at her husband. And the weird thing is, like, a lot of these kind of, I don't know what you kind of call, call them, race grifters. Um, I think AOC, even Ilhan Omar. And there's a, there's a few others who are in the public sphere. Uh, God, even that chick who was on YouTube. This was, like, old YouTube from, like, 2015, 2016. I forget what she's on, like Vox or BuzzFeed or Mike or Slate Sloan. Now there's like one of those far left wing whack job organizations. And she's like super, super um, uh, sun woman power type of thing. And then and then every once in a while she'll have her husband on camera. And you look at her husband like, oh, what, what, what's going on? What's going on here? Your, what, your husband. I can't help but notice. Can't help but notice your husband's an Englishman. Like, what happened to uh, fight the power? Solidarity. Uh, well, you know, we're, uh, you know, you know, yeah, anyway, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you guys all next episode.